Eurostat, the EU statistical office, confirmed today that inflation in the Eurozone has fallen to 0.5% in March. Pressure is mounting on the European Central Bank to deploy more unconventional tools, including quantitative easing, to help the bloc's fragile recovery. What should the ECB do? And is QE really the best available option for the ECB? Discussing it with me today is Alberto Gallo, Head of Macro Credit Research at Royal Bank of Scotland. Welcome, Alberto. Thank you. So let's have a look at the first chart which you brought with you uh, today. And this is looking at the bright side of what's happening in the Eurozone. And that is that uh, actually government bonds are converging again. Yes, and in the periphery we have record low bond yields, for example, in, in Italy and, and Spain. And there's been a very strong convergence with core Europe, with German bonds. However, not the same is happening in the real economy, where companies still fund at a multiple in the periphery versus what German companies have to pay for loans. And we can take a look at the second chart then, uh, which is showing uh, actually how the cost of loans to particularly SMEs in uh, the periphery still very very high and you can see that uh, in Italy um, basically firms pay up to six percent for new loans and these are small businesses the real foundation of the periphery economy um, 90 percent of new jobs in the periphery are created by SMEs and they need banks now the question is is really QE the right thing to do government bond yields are already low and um, this is not really working for uh, loans for the real economy. And why? Because banks lack capital. So the German banks are able to lend at very cheap rates, but banks in Italy and in Spain things are getting a bit better, but still not the same. They're not able to lend at the same yields as, as Germany. And one of the problem, I guess, has to do with the way uh, funding works in the, in, the, in the Eurozone. And then we can have a look at the, at the third chart which you brought uh, with you, which shows how actually Eurozone banks are still have an unhealthy addiction, that's the name of our chart, on uh, bank credit. Yes, European, the European economy is effectively uh, centered on, on banks and on loans. In the periphery in particular, loans are over 90% of funding. So you can see the, the, the blue column is how much in percentage companies fund with loans versus bonds. So monetary policy as a consequence is very different in Europe from the US where the Federal Reserve just lowers bond yields and then corporates can fund with bonds more cheaply. In Europe you need banks to, to uh, release, to issue loans and for that you need bank capital so you need much more reforms. And QE of sovereign is probably not the right thing to do. You need so, so what is the right response by the ECB? So the right response is, as Benoit Couré said last weekend, is um, across geographies, across market, market segments, is much more granular. It's credit easing. So the, the ECB needs to act on loans and on securitizations. And is the paper which the ECB has released with the Bank of England last week the answer, you think? I think the paper opens new questions. There is a lot of uh, parties involved in this. There is the Basel Committee, which um, looks at risk weights for banks to hold securitizations. There is the European Investment Bank, which is reluctant to take more risk. So the ECB is trying to promote the market and the Bank of England as well. But other pieces of the puzzle are still missing. It's not something that will happen this year. And clearly, it's not just down to, all down to the ECB, is it? Correct. It's a fiscal. It's also a fiscal decision. So, Germany, the UK, France, which fund the European Investment Bank, they need also to step up and um, give more funding and and approve this uh, these measures to restart the securitization market. Thank you very much for being with us, Alberto. So, a lot of work to do for Mr. Draghi, but policymakers in Europe should not expect the ECB to do all the work for them.